After so much anticipation about Dina Escher Smith's bid to establish her name in sprinting history as the first British winner of the Olympic Women's 100M, after so much talk about how, for the first time in 21 years, the race was going to upstage the men's 100M, the Blue Ribbon event of the Tokyo Games burst into life last night. She was not there when the lights went down at the Olympic Stadium a few minutes before 10 p.m. local time. She was not there when Thompson Hare hurtled across the line first in a new Olympic record time. Instead, Asher Smith was downstairs in an underground car park that has been converted into an area where athletes speak to the media, her emotions oscillating wildly between tears and laughter. Her words pouring forth in an animated 20-minute stream of consciousness as she sought to explain where it went wrong. This was the woman who was supposed to be the golden girl of these Olympics for Team GB, talking us through the agony of failing to qualify for the final after finishing third in her Emil final and missing out by five hundredths of a second on sneaking into the event she had dreamed of competing in, as a fastest loser. Asher Smith was Team GB's best hope of gold on the track and now that hope was ruined. But later she was told there might be hope, that she might not need surgery, that she might make it to the start here after all. She went through the hopes she harbored she might recover in time, she went through the emotions that assailed her. We came back to the UK, as it was time to fly to Tokyo. Unless I couldn't stand or do anything on that leg, it wasn't an option for me to give up because this is what? My life. This is her life, and it was hard to see her talking about how the dream of gold in Tokyo had broken apart. She said one last thing when asked about a speech she had given, as captain of the Team GB Athletics squad, to the other athletes in Tokyo. All those other people might have done amazing things in the past but the past does not dictate the future. Except this time, Asher Smith's past did dictate her future.